Hey guys, this is Scott Leroy, Scott Leroy Marketing, coming in from a weekly tip. And today's tip is actually about a brand new item that just came out in Designs, where you can actually upload your own PDFs and then edit them. All right, so previously there wasn't an option, obviously, on here to go through and edit any of the PDFs before that you may have had from prior platforms. Maybe you had it over on eEdge, for instance, you want to update it, or over on Top Producer, Boomtown, Brevity, whatever it might be, where you may have had a design that you created. You exported it and then you're not able to update it anymore. All right. In this case, maybe on Canva or other platforms like that. All right. So if you're not able to update it in those platforms, you can actually upload it to designs and it'll then basically do its best to manipulate everything on there. So you can upload or sorry, not upload, but update it immediately and tweak it even further. All right. So if I actually click on the designs option over here on the left hand side in this menu, here we go. All right, this is going to take me right over here to our main designs. These are all the designs that I've actually currently looked at or saved. So once again, I always like to point this out whenever I do a designs video. This is going to look different for you guys because this is actually my recent basically viewing history at the end of the day. So it's tailored to myself. All right, so if I click on the plus sign down here, though, at the bottom right, all right, I can then either click on the social or the print option to go to the back end of WeBrand. All right, so in this case, if I click on social, for instance, all right, you probably actually want to do print, but I'm going to do social anyway. All right, so I'm going to click on create designs on here. All right, social or print will take you back in a wee brand, so either works. All right, now if you notice, we have our normal template section like we always have, but now we're going to have something called my designs up here. So if I click on my designs, this is where you can go through and you can actually create folders. You can view all of your previous designs on here. You can duplicate designs. Once again, you can use the custom, you know, pre-made templates, obviously, over from the normal designs. Or there's a new option up here at the top left, import PDF files. All right, so every, sorry, edit every element of your PDF. All right, so if I click on this option, I can either double click on it to actually add this in. I can drag and drop to move it over, whatever you prefer. All right, so I'm just going to double click on it real quick. Here's the file that I downloaded this morning just as a test one of the PDF. <laughs> sorry. Geez, I'm choking over here, <laughs> so I'm going to click on that. All right, and it barely popped up, but usually at the bottom right, you'll see that it's starting to actually pull us in. All right, so I actually literally just saved this piece, ironically enough, as a PDF just to get an idea as to what this will look like. So obviously, I could have gone through and updated it on here, but regardless, if you happen to have a PDF from another platform, maybe it was even Photoshop that you did it in, you can now add it in on here. All right, so as you can see, it looks like it's currently just going through the process right now. All right. So it's finally stopped on here finalizing. If you notice, we have this little triangle up here at the top, right? With the little exclamation point. All right, so there might be a couple of items we'll need to check and look at. So I'm gonna double click on this. All right, first thing comes up, all right, as you can see, I can choose my measurement. If I wanna actually go through with pixel, inch, millimeter, centimeter. All right, but let me go back over here. I'm gonna click on this, right, where it says something is missing. All right, your PDF is missing a specific measurement unit, so that's the only thing I need to do. Now, one other thing that you may actually need to add inside as well, and I did this on the test one earlier, so I apologize it didn't pop up. If it doesn't have the exact fonts, all right, so if you haven't added in the fonts over inside your library inside here, for instance, you can actually go under templates. There's a library option over here. You can actually add inside all of your detail information. All right, and under the brand kit, you can add inside your fonts if you upload them. All right, so if it has a specific font on here, and it doesn't actually have that added into designs, you can always upload that, all right? Or at the end of the day, it'll actually choose a font that's as similar as possible to utilize too. So if that does pop up as one of the error messages on here, no worries, you can actually just choose whichever font you wanna use instead, all right? But if I click on this, for instance, I'm gonna double click on it. I'll just click on it once, fine. All right, then I can choose, do I wanna do pixel? Do I wanna do inch, millimeter, centimeter? So as you can see, pixel is gonna be if you're utilizing it online. All right, and then inch, millimeter, centimeter is if you're actually going to utilize it for print. All right, so I'll do inch on here and click continue. There we go. So now we happen to have a different box on here. We noticed that, all right, hold on. There are mask and or gradients to the original PDF. All right, so they will get rasterized by the editor as they are currently not supported. That's okay. All right, so I'm going to double click on this. So now I can actually start to edit it. All right, so now it's going to take that PDF and it's going to make all these different items that we had on here editable. All right, so as you can see on here, my text box I had before is now editable. All right, over here, once again, the text box, editable. This image on here, editable. All right, so we can actually go through and tweak all this right away if we need to update it. 
So say for instance, you had a previous flyer. Once again, you've printed it out. You only have the PDF or maybe, you know, for instance, you had it created by someone. They custom created a flyer for you. Later on, you're like, man, I need to change this. The biggest thing that might happen, there might be a price update. All right, well, now I can go through. It was 399999. Now it is 389900. All right, so now it'll give me the option to go through and update that. So instead of having to completely redo all the great work that you've already done, you can actually just go through, update a few items on here, because it'll automatically pick that up for you, and you can just change it out. All right, so this is a fantastic new feature that's going to save you so much time. It's going to make your life a lot easier. And the best part is then you can actually save it inside designs. All right, so that way if I want to go through, there's always the file option up here. I can save this. I can go through. I can tweak this as well. If it's not the exact design that I had before, I can always update it too. All right, so some of this stuff is a, a little off. That's okay. You know, I can always change it, obviously, to fit properly on here. I can update all the information. And then I can just click on the done option over here, or I can always click the download button as well. So that way I can either download it as a JPEG, PNG, or PDF. But I just want to give you a heads up. Now, if you happen to have just a PDF version and you aren't able to edit that piece anymore, you can now upload it into designs and then you can go through and tweak it even further. All right. And once again, nothing is set in stone. So if you want to change all this stuff out, you can just use designs as normal. All right. I can start to drag this over. I can update anything I want to on here. I can change out the text. I can add inside new icons, new logos, same format for designs like you're utilizing a custom template because you just made your PDF into a custom template. All right, so it's that that simple. So now you don't have to go back and, you know, potentially pay someone to update this or anything. You can actually do it yourself for free and it'll take literally a couple minutes and that's it. So there you go. So now I can always save this. Saved. I always like seeing that saved option on there. And I'll click done and I'm good. All right, so it's that simple to actually go through and tweak this and utilize it immediately. So there you go. So that's how easy it is to upload a PDF to go through and edit it right away. So there you go. So that is your KDB command tip for the day.